So for the wet and wet technique, I'm going to very simply show you how to combine two colors with watercolors. I wet my brush and I'm gonna draw a shape on my paper with the water. And I'm gonna draw a shape on my paper with the water. As you can see, it's a little bit shiny. You might not be able to see it in the camera, but you can, if you look at the paper, you'll see where the paper is wet. You can move the water around if you need to. If it starts to pool in one area over another, I recommend that you just use a dry brush and move the water around. Right now I'm gonna add a little bit more water to my circle because I'm gonna be combining two colors. I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna wet my palette and pick up a color. And I'm just picking two at random for this exercise. And then I'm gonna go into the paper where it's wet still. I'm gonna apply pigment. You see how it bleeds out? This is actually a technique that's really popular for watercolor painting. It's one of the most important ones to master because that's how you get a really fluid, beautiful looking watercolor, like if you're painting a landscape. There's another reason I became fascinated with watercolors. So now I'm gonna pick a color that uh, won't cancel out the yellow, but will combine with it really beautifully. And I'm just simply going to go where there is no pigment and I'm going to just dab it in there and you'll see that the water will just naturally spread the color around but I kind of want it to bleed more to get a really cool uh, beaded look almost like a celestial planet and so I'm going to move the color around a little more then I might even make this a little more round just to make it interesting. And if you want to see it bleed more, this is a fun technique. I don't see a lot of watercolor artists talking about, but you can actually go in and add more water if you want to make it pool. <clears throat> you can add blue or, or green into this area over here. But I really like the way it looks. It almost looks like a half, half moon. So that is a very, very simple wet and wet technique that is used by a lot of watercolor artists. It's, um, I would say, primarily used in landscape art, but it can also be used in botanicals. We're gonna pretend this is a leaf. I'm gonna wet the area where the leaf goes. And I'm just drawing a shape with the water again. And this time I'm going to pick up a green and might combine it with a little bit of blue. And now I'm going to mix the green in here and just move it across the shape. So I'm just making sure that the pigments just evenly glide across the wet page. I kind of want to get this to uh, have a very even looking flow to it. And you'll notice that leaves sometimes have uh, a darker tip just depending on where they are uh, bending or how they're facing you. So I'm allowing the pigment to pull in, you know, the base of the leaf and then the, the tip right here. And so what botanical artists would do is they will just allow the color to build up. They'll do a lot of water... Um, They'll do a lot of washes where they are just applying color over and over again. But what they do to get that nice, even, beautiful color going across the leaf evenly is they'll do the wet and wet uh, process. However, they will not make it as wet as over here. So this is a really simple way of how to use wet and wet for florals, for landscapes, for basically any sort of subject matter that you think would work really well. I know it's also used a lot in portrait art uh, to get that really smooth skin look. You have to use a lot of wet and wet and really evenly spread the pigment out across the page as you're working. I'm gonna show you one last thing with wet and wet technique. We're gonna do a sky. 
I'm gonna add the water to the page, just kind of creating a fictitious sky area. And you wanna be careful that you didn't do what I did. Um, if your water is not clean, you will pick up a little bit of the green pigment that I used here and here. Um, and you don't want that, so you wanna start just from scratch. So you're gonna to wanna to have two jars of water to work with. But because this is just an exercise, I'm not really worried about it. So I'm just gonna show you how this works. I'm just gonna move forward. I'm wetting my palette and I'm, I'm moving this pigment over here until I get a nice consistency um, of how much color I want to go down. And I'm gonna think about how the sky is probably darker at the top. So I'm gonna add my pigment in here first. And then I'm gonna dab to get some of that pigment out because I want it to kind of be a gradient going down. I'm gonna dab again. I'm gonna do another, another one, dab. And then there you go. And because there are kind of lines in it still, I'm gonna use a dry brush. And I'm just gonna use the tip of the brush to steeple down to smooth it out. Another thing you can do is use water to do that. But because the water's, I mean, the paper's buckling a little bit, I kind of just don't want to overwork it. So what I would do is I would just go back over this with another layer of paint to smooth it out. And that is a very, very basic wet and wet technique. Um, if you have not run across my channel before, please like and subscribe. I will be offering videos like these every week and on my Patreon you can also subscribe for exclusive content where I'll be doing a lot of paint with me's and painting sessions weekly, original art and other tutorials where you can just follow along and learn uh, different techniques and styles for painting with watercolor. So thank you for stepping into the studio today and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.